taken an unexpected turn. Um, there are disgusting little white caterpillary things all over our floor. Um, they are not in our cabinets or our pantry or our fridge, um, which is good. So yeah, um, we're gonna, we're gonna try and figure that out and I'll, I'll let you know how things go. Okay, so we have decided that we are just going to deep clean. Um, sorry, I'm only like doing my skincare. Um, so, one moment. Okay, so... We have determined that what we're going to do is deep clean um, the entire apartment, um, like especially the rooms that they're in, which is like the living room and the kitchen, um, but like also the bathroom, also um, at least me and Terry's bedroom. Um, and see where that gets us. Um, we're also gonna put out like salt, um, I guess, at all the entrances, because um, I guess that like can help. We're looking into that, we're going to see how that goes, and then go from there. If that doesn't work, um, we're probably gonna end up calling the landlord and like um, talking to him about the next steps. Um, I already called my mom twice and sent her at least four or five text messages. Um, that's what happens when like I'm like having a meltdown. Um, I either text my mom or my boyfriend at the time. Um, just like repeatedly flipping out and then about 30 minutes later they get like two three more texts explaining how we will be solving the situation um, I'm very much like a wait it out and she'll figure it out person um, but yeah that that's what we're gonna be doing today um, we were going to be doing some some other things, but that is very quickly switched to our main priority. So um, I'm probably gonna put on like some YouTube um, and some music and we'll get started on that. <laughs> what do you wanna do today? Got a new car in time to kill. What's on your mind? So, as you saw, our our last installment um did not go as was planned. Um so it's not quite a week later, it's about a half a week later and I've just had a very emotionally turbulent half of a week. Um I was just like emotionally hungover for most of yesterday. Um, and so it's just been a time, um, but we're getting back um, into things. We're reassessing, we are, we're good. Um, so yeah, I actually have a rehearsal for a gig today that I wanna take you guys along on. It is super, super hot um, because it is August and the second everyone is over summer, it kind of kicks it up a notch. Um, I'm in kind of a weird mood today. Um, blah, but 
we are we're doing the things um it just took me forever to do all of my daily submittals so we have got to walk the doggy we've got to work out we've got to get our makeup done we've got to get all of our the tops we're bringing for the rehearsal ready and folded up um so yeah i think we're gonna get going on that um but yeah the last it's just been a mess basically like our house there were just all of these little bugs and we didn't know why we think it might have been because like they cleaned out like the the garage that's right under our apartment um because those people moved out um and so they all like wiggle i don't know it was gross but i took care of it um i swept our entire apartment and i scrubbed the entire floor and baseboards by hand I sprayed everything, cleaned it up, and then sprayed again and put everything back. Um, do not worry, I used Pet Safe Spray and I was very, very careful about where I put it and making sure that it was all cleaned up and dry by the time I let Miss Winifred out. Um, so yeah, it's just been a lot um, and I've had to set some boundaries recently um and that hasn't been fun and it's been causing me a lot of anxiety um and yeah i've just been working with my anxiety the last a lot in the last few days um and just feelings that i've been having that i've been suppressing and the physical symptoms of those um because when you suppress emotions, they don't go away. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not. Like, I feel like I go back and forth between being the person that like spills just like all of their life on the internet and like it's just very like, no, we share what like we want to. Um, like, it's fine. Like, just like be vague. It doesn't matter. It's the internet. Like, don't be too vulnerable. And like, if you are sharing your life for, you know, the benefit of yourself, but also the benefit of other people, the best thing you can do is be vulnerable. Um, but also like you have to keep in mind respect for other, other people, um, and other people that are involved in situations in your life. And so that is like kind of what I'm doing right now um, and why I'm being so vague. There's just a lot of stuff going on in my life that I'm having a really hard time handling right now. Um, and I am doing my best. I am having hard conversations um, and setting boundaries. And like that all sounds very like healthy and great and like go you. Um, but it fucking sucks um and i felt like i was gonna puke from anxiety and rage multiple times in this past week um but we're working through it we're dealing um and we have a lot to do <laughs> before we have to go to this rehearsal at one so let's get on it All right, so it is much later. Um, I actually just drove back from my rehearsal and I picked up a Target order on the way back, but they didn't have one of, just like, I'm gonna like open this door really quick so I have some like, it's really hot in this car. Um, it's very hot today, but they didn't have one of the things in my order. And so I decided to just go in and get it. And I ended up grabbing like a couple extra things as one does, but, but. I only spent $16 more than I meant to spend. And I got one, two, three, four, five, five things. So, so I think that's pretty good. That's like $3.20 per like item. Um, I think, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to show you the things that I meant to get and then the things that I did not mean to get but I'm very happy about having gotten. So um, the things that I did get, so I do this thing just 
financially. Um, sometimes when I feel like I need a reset or when I really need to like crunch um, for money for whatever reason. And I just do not buy food unless I physically have to. Like nutritionally, I do not have things to eat for this meal like that that is the only time i buy food so like i will only buy like a break a thing for breakfast if i look around my like house my fridge my pantry i do not have anything that i could eat for breakfast and not like be starving after um same with lunch and dinner and so like i've been doing that for like probably the past mm, week um and it's going really well um it's never really that bad and it also kind of is just good for me to reset to really see like okay what do we have and like what do we actually need to live and what things are we buying that are extras what have we allowed like our lifestyle to drift a little bit because we forget like certain things are technically extras um and we don't like need them or whatever or we don't need nearly as much at one time as we think we do um so that's what i'm doing right now and i just like filled in a couple little holes so i got just some shredded cheese i always get the mexican blend i got some eggs um i don't really like eggs like if you were to ask me like what um like foods i don't like eggs would be one of the ones i would tell you but every once in a while when you put the right things in an omelet I will be hella down. Um, and I did that with the last two eggs I had last night with um, some of the fresh vegetables that my grandparents gave me from their garden when I visited them last weekend. And it was amazing with like the fresh tomatoes, the fresh zucchini. Um, so I got some eggs um, and I'm trying to, I don't know, I have a whole thing with eggs, not even just how they taste but, like morally. And I just try that's a whole nother video. I, well, I meant to order five bananas. I did not click the plus sign. So I got one. That's fine. We'll get more. And then what I ended up getting for like desserts, quote unquote, I ran out of just like the little like Oreos that I snack on after dinner. I decided that we were going to do worms and dirt, ladies and gentlemen. And so we got the Oreos as we normally do. We got the double stuff this time. I just kind of alternate. And then we got some chocolate pudding and we got some gummy worms. And so you... You don't understand worms and dirt. I fuck so heavy with worms and dirt. And the thing is, is I don't even really like pudding. Like if you asked me if I was a pudding person, I'd be like, mm, like pudding, pudding, yogurt, jello, unless it's like a jello shot or like pudding as like a filling in like a cake or something. I'm not, I'm not your girl. Um, but worms and dirt reminds me of 4th of July. It reminds me of just like good, wholesome summer, your mom made it food. Um, just like some refrigerated Oreos, pudding and gummy worms. Um, yeah, I could get down with that. So that's what we're doing. We are going to figure out if it works with oat milk um, because that is what we have. Um, when I was looking for the gummy worms, I ended up popping in sour gummy worms and peachy rings. Those are two of my favorite candies. Um, they were a dollar and if I was at the dollar store, I would have gotten them. And so I got them here. I'm sorry if where my steering wheel is is bugging you. Um, I'm not going to move my car mount right now. And then, okay. So then the other thing that I meant to get is these paints. Um, so I am going to be doing like some paintings for just like testing up some stuff I saw on Pinterest and TikTok. Um, I'll probably do at least one of them in a video, but I just got this like basic set of acrylic paints and what I really wanted to do instead of just getting, cause I was going to go and get like individual ones. Cause I already have a couple colors. Um, I have like white, black, and I think gold. Cause those are the ones that I like would use to touch up things or like paint things that I thrifted. But, um, 
what I wanted to do instead of getting like each individual color I wanted, this was a set. It was on sale. Um, it was on like clearance and there was only one left. And I just really like the vibrancy of these colors. And also I think that I could mix them to make pretty much any color I want. And I like the tones of them. So I went with this. I'm really excited to like mix them and like, I don't know, just kind of like figure out and create my own color palettes. I'm like feeling really inspired by that idea lately um this brand mondo llama is like killing it at target they have such nice like art supplies and like just a really like nice selection of like creative stuff um and not just for kids like to foster the creativity of like a kid who's like likes artsy things but really for anybody like these are these are nice um so i'm very excited to use those and then, so what we didn't have was the canvas sizes that I ordered. I wanted, I think it was like, the 16 by 18s were the ones that they did have, and those were too big. And then these ones that I did end up with are the 9 by 12. And so I think the ones I wanted were like 16 by 10. They were like a little bit bigger than this, but not huge. Um, and there were five of them. But there are six of these um, I went inside and hunted for. They are nine by 12. I think I already said that. And yeah, I'm excited for them. They were $10, um, which is exactly how much the other ones were. So yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm going to do a few this way, a few this way. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to take me to use all of these, but I certainly have the paint for it. So that'll be fun. And then right next to them, I saw this and it's just like, it's okay. So it says mixed media tool set, 25 pieces. It is this was five dollars this was five doll hairs and do you even like look at all of the different and the textures like i get i get that this was probably intended for children i get that i don't care like this is so cool like all of the different textures and like detail work and stuff that you could do with this amount of brushes uh for five dollars Fuck yes, that's amazing. So I'm obsessed with this. I like, if you are interested in just like igniting your creativity at all with like, I don't know, like your friends, your roommates, your children, whatever, like this is what you need. These are all the brushes you need. $5, fuck yeah. And then of course I had to walk through the dollar section, which was all prepped for fall, which was toxic as shit for me. Um, but I didn't do anything too stupid. They didn't have anything that I was like, yes, that's really going to fit into like where, like I see that in my house, you know? Um, but I did get these little signs. They were a dollar each. This one says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. I love that phrase. That's like one of my favorite fall phrases and then the other one has one of my other fall favorite fall phrases i have like a few like fall things that i'm like deep into um autumn leaves and pumpkins please is one of them and then the other is but i think i love fall most of all um which i think is like it's very cliche but i like it and then they're double-sided um this one has like a little copy that says get it while it's hot so i think maybe i actually might be able to turn this around um and just keep it on my like little coffee cart um but it's not fall and then what it is sort of back that way and then the back of this says pumpkin pie baked fresh daily and so um i don't know maybe if i like have a space in the kitchen that i see this for like i could do a little hang um on like a drawer or a handle or something i think it'd be cute so those were a dollar each which we love i had been okay so this this next one is like it's a little bit of a journey um, to understand how special it was that I got these fucking things. So I have been, me and the bike shorts have had an interesting journey. When they first were a trend, I thought they were ugly as shit. I thought they were terrible. Um, I didn't understand why anybody, anybody would want to wear those. And then I started doing like the sports bra bike shorts and the t-shirt bike shorts and the crop top bike shorts. And I started getting it. I started getting it. I didn't buy my own. My mom was getting rid of a pair from like the literal 90s <laughs> um, and they were black and so they matched with everything. And so we tried them out. We liked them, we liked them. And then we were like, we need more. We need more colors so that we can really like get, we can make outfits with these because this is comfy as shit. And so like, we need we need more than just a plain black pair, you know? And so I saw that Target had some, some affordable ones for like $8, they were plain. Um, and they had them 
in the color that I wanted. I wanted red. Red is an accent color in so many of my outfits. And I knew that if I had red bike shorts, I would wear them with so many things. And I don't know, I just kept going back and forth and back and forth and if I was going to buy them or not. And if they had my size and I don't know, I just couldn't do it. But they are on clearance now. And I saw it on the app and it wouldn't let me buy them on the app, but I checked when I was there and they had one pair in my size of red bike shorts for $4. So I'm very happy. That's the end of that story. I got the bike shorts I wanted for $4. That was really it. I'm really excited about it though. Also, I keep, so I do a lot of my work at like our like kitchen table and I keep all of my like notebooks and stuff um, and my like planner, like just like stacked, but it's really fun. I just don't think it's cute. And like, it makes it hard to like grab them. I don't know. I just don't think it looks nice. And so I wanted something to put them in so where they looked nicer and they weren't just like this stack of crap. Um, and so I got this. Um, and I like it because I'm trying to make this like coral orangey color, like more of a color in our space because our couch is blue. And so I feel like that'll really like bounce off of it well. And yeah, so this is going to be on our table. So yeah. Okay. Um, I have eggs in one of those bags and I'm sweating. So I'm going to go inside and get this all put away. Um, so like the little, I understand it was a dollar. I understand it was a dollar. However, I am not pleased. So the little thing came out of the hole. So we're just going to try. Oh, 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 oh. It's not allowed to behave. Yeah. Will not stand. Okay, okay, okay. We peeled him. He has a little, has a little ugly right here, but we need to fix that with scissors. Mm -hmm. 